Hi, I'm Yard. I'm here at the Albert Hall with Eric Clapton to do some shows and uh, I'm checking for Steve Gadd. How long have you worked for Steve Gadd, Yard? I've been with Steve for about 16 years now. And what's Steve like to work for? Um, very easy. He's, uh, he doesn't like anything changing. He's not at all demanding. There's absolutely no ego. And as long as you don't do too much, he loves it. Okay. Do you? Is there any particular uh, things that Steve likes about his drums and his drum sound? Uh, uh, well, obviously he wants it to sound good. Um, he has his technique for doing stuff, and all I do is recreate what he asked me. And, um, and that's how we've ended up working together for so long, because you just do as you're asked. Any um, special tuning tips that Steve likes? Um, uh, not really, no. Okay, and uh, changing heads. I know Steve uh, doesn't like to change his heads Steve, too often. Yeah, Steve changes heads every two or three months, but it's normally one at a time. The snare only gets changed when it pops, and the toms he might get off the kit at night and say, let's change the 13 or let's change the 12 but it's never the full set, very rarely. Okay, and so if he changed his snare drum heads so uh, infrequent, what about his bass drum head? Um, I change that more for safety, just in case it pops during a gig. Um, but that stays on as long as it can, because the longer they stay on, the nicer they sound. Okay, finally, uh, just a quick uh, comment on Steve Gadd. Um, probably, well, he's my benchmark for everyone. And he's the nicest, nicest man you could meet. And because he has no ego whatsoever, he's keen to introduce others into drumming. He's very supportive of people that play. He's always welcome to meet drummers, <laughs> gives them their time. And um, he's just an all-round real nice guy. Okay, thank you very much.